Spiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys more My Hero Academia Smash Rising here on the channel. And if you guys remember, last week, Shoot Style Deku finally came out in the game as his own separate character doll or whatever. Let me go ahead and show you guys right now. So I was actually able to get him to six stars. And basically in this video, I'm going to kind of sort of showcase him, but also just talk about the grind itself and uh, if it's actually worth it. The grind because like that grind is stupid okay it, it is it is ridiculous uh, just how much of a grind it is to get him to six stars because when you do his EX battle you're not guaranteed to get his badges that'll allow you to get him to six stars so because it's it works that way the grind is much much more ridiculous and there are, t there are times where you won't even get any badges in the run. You'll get like three R Factor cards or no R Factor cards or badges. So it, it was just it was just one heck of a grind. And uh, I'm just going to talk about that grind in this video for you guys while I'm using this Deku. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button down below to show your support in the description below. Be sure to check out the Smash Rising Discord and Twitter, especially the Discord, so you can stay up to date with, up to date with the game and all that good stuff in the comments below let me know if you got your uh shoot style deku up to six stars and let me know if you guys use uh, using him do you like him do you not like him are you enjoying uh the game or just again let me know how much you hate this game and how much you want smash tap back because there are a lot of you guys out there as well also, if you are new around here and you like what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about this Deku here. So um, so the difference between him and this Deku is that this Deku doesn't have as high attack as um, the Shoot Style. Shoot Style actually has more attack than the regular costume Deku, but I think uh, uh, Shoot Style has less defense um, just by a little bit. Like some of the numbers are like, there, it's just like it's, it's it's like not even really noticeable uh, if you really think about it. So when it comes to using him between him and regular Deku, I use Shoot Style only because I like his outfit. That's literally the only reason why I actually use um, Shoot Style Deku. It's just his costume is just better in my opinion. Uh, they have the same exact passive and everything as well. Like there's not much of a stat difference between the two. Um, if we're being if we're being real about it, like there's not is uh, let's see. So shoot style has more attack. I think he has less defense. Um, his avoidability is a bit lower. Like yeah, some like 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 I said, some of the values don't even change. So it's just like, I, I mean, the only thing that changes is really his attack stat. Like the only thing that goes up when you go from his first costume to his um. When you go from his first costume to his third costume, the only thing that changes is his um, is his attack. So, like, okay, I mean that that's cool, whatever, fine. That I mean that's great, and it's not even it's not even like you know, oh, uh, regular Deku has 18k attack, 18k. Whoa, 1.8k. My bad. Uh, 1.8k, and then you know, 1.9k. It's like. That's not really much of a difference, you know? I, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's not that much of a difference. Now, if it was like 1.8K and then 2.1K, like, sure, yeah, okay, that's a major difference. Yes, okay, the grind is absolutely worth it now. Um, I don't know, <laughs> people are actually doing this cross crisis? That's wild. That is absolutely ridiculous. So let's go ahead and, I mean, honestly, we probably did not need this many uh, people for this cross crisis now I wanted to do the all for one all, uh, cross crisis because um, I wanted to do that because uh, it's all for one right uh, which I mean I did it off screen but the times for it are just kind of all over the place so that's why I'm just kind of doing the regular old giant uh, giant villain uh, cross crisis so okay so we have we have four people right now so this should be a cakewalk so I guess this isn't this isn't really a good representation of this Deku, but at the same time, I mean, hey, someone else is using them too, so it's not too hateful. Oh, we have a full. Okay, so this is a full squad, a full lobby. Then, yeah, this is a full lobby. I don't think I've ever had a full lobby in Cross Crisis. So this is actually really interesting. Not only that, but that that midnight has 
uh, rising meter. What the heck? Come on now. So yeah, oh yeah, they're gonna, they're going to die. <laughs> they are going to die. Okay, they are going to die. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Like, look at this. Woo. Bow. That was okay. So that wasn't that clearly was not a good representation of the Deku. But no, let's talk. But let's still again. Let's talk about the grind. So the grind to get this Deku. It's like you have to farm out so many. You have to farm out so many badges for the Deku, right? You have to farm out, you know, the thirty, the one hundred, and then the three hundred uh, after that, right? Like you have to do that, and it's. It's it's such a it's such <laughs> I don't I don't know I've never I mean I've experienced grinds like that in gotchas and stuff but never like that like that was just ridiculous okay I mean I feel like if they're gonna make if they're gonna make this a thing where we have to grind out their alternate costumes and stuff they should at least make the badges um, guaranteed you know I feel like I, I feel like they should do that. I feel like they should do that because it would be so much it would be so much easier and better for people who are grinding out the event, you know? And then it's like at the same time, you know, they want us to get this character to 6 stars, right? They want us to unlock this character and to be able to use them to their full potential. So, you know, you would think that they would at least make the badges guaranteed every run you know i'm not saying give us like 20 badges every single run or whatever but at least give us like um at least give us maybe uh 10 you know 10 well, not even 10 like maybe six you know six every run and then make the r factors uh make them make the r factors the one that are up to like rng or whatever like i think that would be that would be great that would be good in my opinion okay so he's he always shows up by the way um like do that i think that would be uh much better in terms of you know making us grind out these alternate costumes and stuff like if you're gonna make us grind out these alternate costumes when virtually their stats are more or less the same we're just doing it for the cosmetic because like he doesn't even fight like shoot style he literally he literally punches just like regular old deku now i know that there will be r factor cars that are specifically for uh this deku here i know that they're not gonna make they're not gonna make an r if they made an r factor that was a shoot style r factor for both dekus what would be the point what would be even the what would be the point of having this Deku here, right? Like, what? Well, well, I don't know. So I feel like they will have shoot style exclusive. Um, they'll have shoot style exclusive um, R factors at some point. I feel like there will be a, there will be a shoot style, uh, not a shoot style R. Well, yeah, shoot style uh, Rising Fest R factor. I feel like there'll be that in, at some point. I don't know. Like, I'll do a run right now. Let's hope and pray I actually don't get the badge because I just want to show you I just want to show you guys like how much it sucks to grind out this event for these badges. I don't know cuz like I mean I had to burn all of my stamina, right? You know, and and burning all of my stamina is ridiculous considering the fact that I have like 250 something stamina and I'm able to burn it all, right? Like that that is ridiculous. That's just ridiculous to me. And they already know that we're gonna have to grind out Bakugo's, uh, uh, Bakugo's alternate costume. We're gonna have to grind out uh, Todoroki's as well. Like that's gonna be such a chore to do. I mean, and then at that point, I don't even have my Todoroki at six stars yet. At that point, shoot, I might as well not even farm out the first one because I'm not even gonna use the first one. I hate the first one's outfit. His outfit is garbage to me. Like most of their first costumes are like not all that great in my opinion. But then it's like, I don't know. It, it is what it is. The grind itself was just, why did you do that, Bakugo? You're nowhere near them. You can't even reach. You just wasted SP. Bro, you just wasted SP. You could have just ran up to them. Like, that's one thing I don't like about the auto function is that they'll use their specials when they're nowhere near the character. And it's like, what are you doing? You know, like, what what are you doing? I don't get it. But I do, I do like Bakugo. His passive is really nice, though. When he attacks, he has a chance to lower their defense. Like, that's really good. And then, like, um, 
two of his attacks that I have on him hit multiple times. So that's more chances for him to lower their defense. So that's really cool. But this is supposed to be about shoot style Deku though. So yeah, no, like if you like his outfit, sure. Grind him to six stars um, because like his outfit is really, really cool. His outfit is great. But at the same time, you're not, you're not gonna notice the stat difference between the two. So if anything, you're basically doing it for the outfit right now and for future R Factor cards that will probably be exclusively for uh, this EX Deku, right? So that's the, that's the real reason why you probably want to grind him out to six stars is for the future. Um, and if you, if you have nothing else to do, and if you need um, red juice thingies to level up your red cards, then also grind out this event because this event uh, spits them out like candy. So there you go. And then also pick up his R Factor cards as well. I will say that if, if you're trying to get him to six star, you'll probably be able to max out a good couple of R Factor cards like level 10 and then six star them. So that's, that's what I was able to do. I did like two of the green ones and then I still have two red ones that I need to uh, farm out or I need to level up and uh, awaken and everything. So look at that, there you go. Yes, thank you for actually not giving me badges. Yes, look at that. So we got two R Factor cards and we got the little red juice thingy, but no badge. So kind of, it blows, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. So, I mean, all in all, I still enjoy using the Deku because again, I like his costume. I just wish that, you know, he came out, I wish he came out in Smash Tap, honestly. I really wish he did, but it's whatever. But now we now we know exactly what they're gonna, what they're gonna do with the other characters which oh boy oh man it's gonna it's gonna suck it's gonna suck it's gonna suck a lot but it's whatever anyways i hope you guys enjoyed me rambling about this ridiculous grind if you guys did don't forget to detroit smash that like button down below to show your support in the description below check out the smash rise and discord and twitter and all that good stuff in the comments below let me know if you got your deku two six stars do you like him do you not like him do you like this outfit do you like his old outfit uh, do you like Smash Rising? Are you enjoying the Deku event? Or are you enjoying the game? Or do you hate Smash Rising and want Smash Tap back? Because again, I know there are a lot of you guys out there. And if you're new around here, you like Smash Tap, Smash Rising, and other gotcha games, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel. But with that, I am out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.